I've always prided myself on my activism. I'm an honors graduate from Stanford with degrees in political science and history, a law degree from Georgetown. And yet, when this story came to my attention, I was flabbergasted that it had escaped me. My research showed that there had been a systemic effort to keep this history hidden from America. So it became my task as a historian, as a lawyer, as an activist, to take up the challenge and tell the story and share it with the world, to shine light on one of America's darkest hours. That's why I made the film. Um, you know, in 1921, we had a thriving black neighborhood where the dollar was turned over and kept 38 times before it left the neighborhood, a self-reliant neighborhood with hospitals, doctors, lawyers, teachers, people actually achieving professionals, um, a self-sustained, independent black neighborhood. Like, we were able to achieve that. That history needs to be told. They developed this whole community in an area that nobody wanted. Now it's growing into a thriving community. Black people are not going to white businesses because they've got their own businesses. White, com white businesses are going out of business because of the Depression. The oil boom is going on. The land that they're on is now valuable and needed by white America. It's all about the Benjamins. They wanted the land. They used, and, and as during that period, any excuse, particularly if you're gonna say a white, a black man accosted, a black man raped, a black man abused, a black man winked at, a white woman, it was cause for a riot. Um, well, the community apparently from the film was destroyed just by the Ku Klux Klan who worked alongside the city of Tulsa to come in and to destroy this community by, you know, fires and shootings and killings. And they basically just burned down the entire community, this community that was built up um, all by African Americans. And the, the denial of this um, of the fact that this actually occurred is what is astonishing to me and no one wants to take responsibility Not even the city of Tulsa. No one's saying the individuals in Tulsa right now are the ones that actually participated in this But they do know their history. So for them to deny that this even happened um, in their in their city is just it's just alarming to me and it's unfortunate This was the t city of Tulsa the film shows the mayor of the city grew born raised and grew up in that city never knew about this incident because it was, it was hushed up. Nobody talked about it after they did it. After the, the 1st of July of, um, it was the May 31st, 1st of June, the white people in the city didn't even talk about it. It's not in the books, it's not in the discussion, it's not in the history books. They don't teach it as part of the history of Tulsa. Most of America has never heard of this before. Best kept secret in America, other than the Underground Railroad. They need to be repaid, and this never needs to happen again, especially to such a thriving community. There was only one uh, monetary claim that was actually fulfilled, and that was to the white uh, gun owner who gave guns to the deputized citizens who would then uh, murder many of the, of the innocent citizens. That was the only claim that was made. America. Wake up, America, from your deep darkness. It is time to recognize the Black Wall Street. When will justice prevail um, if, if the Supreme Court, if every single court um, that these people had access to have closed the doors, when will justice be allowed to prevail? And I think what's great is what Mr. Turner has done is he's brought justice. He's been able to, through his film, um, give us all a sense of moral outrage. There's a very obvious case of injustice and you expect it to be able to go to the courts and, and get your resolve. Um, and I think it was evident in the film that that's not the realm in which justice is going to take place. Um, I think, you know, justice happens through more creative means like creating a film and archiving a history that's been blatantly suppressed and untold. The highest court in the nation has not seen fit to even address it and accept it to come to hear the case is, is a tragedy to itself and it's an insult. And to give these people a medal, a medal, I'm not even going to speak to that. So I have another question to one of the gentlemen that was in the film that I need to really go to Washington, D.C. to ask this question. Of our president, who is also black, who knows of this, what is he going to do about it while he's in office? Because I think he has that responsibility. 
their justice would be for it to go before the court and be recognized as a crime against humanity. This was an inspiring, revolutionary documentary that is part of American history and it speaks truth to what our community has gone through and we should do everything we possibly can to learn all we can and to make a difference, to make sure that something like Tulsa never, ever, ever happens again. And yes, they will have reparation. So I ask that everyone take a time out to learn about what happened in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, it happened one day in May 1921. It's always moving my time afterwards when I talk to those who've just seen the film, especially those who did not know this story, which was hidden for so long, to feel their empathy and to build on the support that they give me provides me with the impetus and the strength to go forward and continue to tell the story. I hope you, after seeing this, will go visit our website at beforetheydiemovie.com, learn more about the Tulsa Race Riot, learn about our film, and more importantly, learn how you can help us help them before they die. Thank you.